20 ring it, but he started it on the table. Okay, hey, congratulations. Thank you. So, were you surprised? Yeah. Did you think you might win? No. What did your mommy and daddy say? Oh, congratulations and just a kiss. Who chose the story for you? My school teacher and my Erica teacher. Did your Erica teacher help you prepare for this? Yes. Uh, what was your teacher's name? And whose idea was it to wear the pajamas? Can you uh, give some advice to the other children who are preparing? What would you say to them? We must practice a lot. As the saying goes, practice makes perfect. Yes, I can! A very good afternoon to the honorable judges, timekeepers, our Erica Knights, teachers, ladies and gentlemen. The title of my story is 20 Ringgit. Eddie changed into his pajamas and ran downstairs, walking restlessly around the living room. He stopped to peek through the window <sighs> every now and then, just to see whether his daddy was back. He started humming a tea. <laughs> Suddenly, he heard his daddy's car coming into the garage. He rushed through the door. Oh, Daddy, Daddy, you're finally back. I waited the whole night for you. He shouted excitedly. Shh. Young man, don't you think you ought to be in bed by now? Anything important? The man was very tired. He walked past his son, sat on the couch, and stretched his arms. Ugh. Dad, may I know how much you make an hour? Asked Eddie. Why you ask a question, young man? If you must know, I make checking it an hour for my hard work. Oh, Eddie replied with his head hanging down. After thinking for some time, he asked, Dad, may I please borrow mm, 10 ringgit? The father was furious. What? 10 ringgit? The man raised his voice. I work so hard every single day to the money for the family. You don't even ask whether I'm hungry or thirsty, but asking about borrowing money? How can you be so selfish? Go to your room now. Eddie quietly climbed up the stairs, step by step to his room. The man sat on the couch and thought for a while about his son's request. He then went to Eddie's room. Slowly, he opened the door and asked. Are you asleep, son? No, Dad. <laughs> and replied, sobbing. I feel empty, son. I was too hard on you. Here's the ten begin. And he wiped his tears, smiled, and yelled, Oh, thank you, Dad! Then, and he reached under his pillow and slowly pulled out some proper pills and started counting. One, two, three, twenty! Why do you want more money if you already have so much? His father grumbled, Yay, Dad! Now I have such a now! He then calmed down and asked, Can I buy an hour of your time? Just one hour? Please come home early tomorrow. I will let my dinner bring you and Mommy. Tomorrow is my birthday! And his father was shocked to hear that. He suddenly realized that he hardly spent time with his family for a long time. Regretting his action, he said, Whoa! I will be back home early tomorrow and I'll take you and mommy to a favorite restaurant to celebrate your birthday. How about that? Oh, that'll be awesome, Dad! Thanks, Dad! I love you! So remember, money is never more important than kindness and your loved ones. I hope you enjoy my story. <laughs>